Yeah, immunotherapy is a very interesting and exciting area of research. Really, the benefit to this approach over kind of traditional approaches is how specific it is. You know, so when a person goes for radiation therapy or chemotherapy, those drugs or the radiation are pretty much just killing all of the cells and the tissues. And this is why, you know, the side effects for chemotherapy and radiation is, are so bad. An individual antibody will bind just one molecule. So if you target the right molecule and it's only found in the cancer cell, you know, in theory, the drug is going to go right to the tumor. Looking at this type of protein called mucins and their function in human biology is basically to protect the lining around internal organs. And the proteins are decorated with sugar. The cell adds this massive layer of sugar on top of it. And that makes the protein really sticky and gooey. And what happens in cancer cells is the cell stops adding the sugars to the protein. But what that means is now there's sort of this very unique signature that the cancer has produced. And so in ovarian cancer patients, the protein gets modified, it gets shed into the blood. And there's been lots of interest in targeting that protein with antibodies to eventually treat ovarian cancer. Now, despite people having studied this uh, protein since the 1980s, actually a very long time, uh, no one knew exactly where on the protein antibodies bind. Uh, so we used a technique called X-ray crystallography, which basically allows us to see the individual atoms of the proteins and try to see exactly where the two proteins interact. So the synchrotron is basically essential for what we do. Uh, technology at CLS has advanced so much that what used to take 48 hours now only takes a couple hours. Uh, so the you know, advancing technology is quite remarkable, actually.